In a letter dated 22 January 1870, Massini wrote to Pike. Now, Albert Pike is this high mason who wrote this, the manual, if you like, of Scottish Freemasonry. He said the following, We must allow all of the federations to continue just as they are. It must appear as things are as they were in the beginning. With their systems, their central authorities, and diverse modes of correspondence between high grades of the same right, organized as they are at present, but we must create a super right, which will remain unknown, to which we will call those masons of high degree whom we shall select. With regard to our brothers in masonry, these men must be pledged to the strictest secrecy. Through this supreme right, we will govern all Freemasonry, which will become the one international center, the more powerful because its direction will be unknown. Now, Albert Pike wrote a letter to Mancini, and that was dated August 15, 1871, in which he propagated that there should be a world order, a one order where all nations are under the control of one central organization. And in order to achieve this, they planned, and there are numerous quotes for this, so I've put a number on the screen, because some will say, I don't trust this, I don't trust that, I don't trust the other. Here are references down there, there are references up there, there will be references in other slides, so it comes from different sources. He said, and this was, by the way, on display in the British Museum, and could be seen there until it was taken away. The First World War, to overthrow the power of the Tsars in Russia, protector of orthodoxy, and bring about an atheistic communistic state. Did that happen? Yes. Now that was written long before this event. Long before this event. This was written in 1871, but this war broke out in 1914. The Second World War, that's also written long before the event. To originate between Great Britain and Germany, to strengthen communism as, as antithesis to the Judea Christian culture, and bring about a Zionist state in Israel. Did it achieve this objective? Yes. In fact, after this war, Israel, in its present form, was reinstated under the protection of Britain. And then, interestingly enough, a Third World War, a Middle Eastern war involving, involving Judaism and Islam and spreading internationally. That's fascinating. Is that uh, on the cards, or what do you think? Certainly sounds like we are on track. Well, here's another quote, uh, just in case people don't like that quote. Massini with Pike developed a plan for three world wars so that eventually every nation would be willing to surrender its national sovereignty to a, to a world government. The first war was to end the Tsarist regime in Russia, the second to allow the Soviet Union to control Europe, the third world war was to be in the Middle East between Muslim and Jews and would result in Armageddon. Interesting. Now, how were they going to do it? Let's read what Albert Pike wrote about these wars and uh, how they were going to be uh, unleashed. He wrote, quote, We shall unleash the nihilist and the atheist, so the destroyer and the atheist, and we will provoke a formidable social cataclysm which in its horror will show clearly to the nations the effect of absolute atheism origin of savagery in the most bloody turmoil. Then everywhere the citizens obliged to defend themselves against the minority of revolutionaries will exterminate these destroyers of civilization and the multitude disillusioned with Christianity will receive the pure light through the universal manifestation of the pure doctrine of Lucifer. The destruction of Christianity and atheism both conquered and exterminated at the same time. Wow, what a clever plan. So you rub the two systems which you create up against the other. You create atheism, 
as an antithesis to the Judeo-Christian culture. You have these two clash until they rub each other up and then out of that you will get a new world order where you have a new religion which is far more esoteric and actually honors Satan. Isn't that a rather clever plan? Well, it's very successful. That is why Ordo Abkao, Ordo Abkao is the, the verse, if you like, that uh, Freemason reuses. This is one of their documents, remember, that I photographed in a Masonic lot.